going everybody it's patrick mid 10 outdoors with chloe cj, CJ. <laughs> she doesn't even know her own name anymore <laughs> anyways we're starting this trip out going to chattanooga and we've got to stop i don't know how much talking there'll be in this video it's probably gonna be a lot more just video and uh, pictures but stopping in a particular place that uh all of us outdoor people really like yep lodge factory store and the lodge factory is just right here behind it so anyway we're going to go in and uh, i got a couple things i'm looking for chloe's going camping next weekend it may be wet and it may be cold so we'll see anyways heather doesn't want to be in so she's not going to be in it but uh let's go in the lodge and see what we got from the lodge store we went on and checked into our hotel the reed house Opened in 1872, it's the longest operated hotel in the southeast and holds a spot in the National Registry of Historic Places that has endured floods, civil wars, epidemics, and Great Depression. Also a ghostly past in room 311, where it is said a woman was beheaded by her lover in 1927. That afternoon, we took off and head to Rock City. Rock City has an awesome 4,100 feet walking trail that wanders through the natural, geological, and botanical wonders such as a 90-foot waterfall, a 180-foot swinging bridge, and of course, Lover's Leap, where you can see seven states. On day two, we headed over to Point Park. Point Park is a 10 acre memorial park that overlooks the Lookout Mountain Battlefield in the city of Chattanooga. I think Point Park personally holds some of the best views in Chattanooga itself. Very amazing views as you'll see here. all right guys i hope you enjoyed point park that was a really cool place awesome awesome views uh heather and chloe went back to look at something else we are now headed to the chickamauga battlefield uh we'll be going there next and then uh i'm not sure what after that so anyways i hope you're enjoying our view of uh chattanooga and the battlefields and stuff man it's cold up here let's see yeah it's not picking it up i gonna say it's a lot colder than 57 degrees with the wind blowing everything overcast got rain moving in tonight but we'll be in bed while that's happening so it doesn't matter it'll blow out and be much colder tomorrow and tomorrow we're hitting the aquarium and then going home a quick three-day trip but it's been pretty cool so anyways um We'll get on the Chickamauga and that's what'll be next. This is our drive through Chickamauga Battlefield. In 1863, Union Confederate forces fought for control of Chattanooga, known as the Gateway of the Deep South. This was a very beautiful battlefield, well laid out in lots of monuments and cannons throughout the park worth the drive to go see. Go. Day three. 
Tennessee Aquarium gets its name from sitting on the banks of the Tennessee River. With the mountains as its backdrop, you will find fascinating native animals that live in our backyards and in some amazing remote locations on Earth. I want to thank you for watching our trip to Chattanooga and visiting the historical sites and the aquarium. I appreciate it if y'all like, subscribe, and share this video with your vast social media. And like we always say, be prepared. See you on the next one.